Hi, I'm from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. As promised, today I'm going to share with you foreign currency setting and also maintain terms in SQL accounting system. So, if you have customer or supplier in foreign currency, then you need to maintain their currency. To maintain a currency, you can go to Tools, Maintain Currency. So what you need to do is just put the currency code, symbol, description, the buy rate and sell rate. Do keep in mind, the rate over here is act as a reference. You can always change the rate during transaction. Another point to be highlighted is this. This is called a default currency. If you are using a, this SQL accounting software outside from Malaysia, let's say Singapore, your base currency should be Singapore dollar. Then what you need to do is just change the symbol description to you are uh, Singapore dollar. Then it will become your base currency. After maintain the currency, let's say for customer, you just need to change the customer currency over here will do. So same go to supplier. You can change the currency over here. What will happen is during transaction, let's say we do a invoice. New, we select the customer in US dollar. You can see the rate appear over here. Let's say we have a item. You can always change the currency rate. Let's say six five three point six five save and during customer payment new yes is currency okay there will be two possibility here first one will be you do not have a foreign currency account you only have Malaysia ringgit so meaning that what they are paid will be go into your Malaysia Ringgit account. So the pay amount should be in Ringgit Malaysia. For example, four hundred Ringgit or 300 Ringgit. You click. So you can see the system will automatically calculate the rate for you. If you select a USD account, so it will be USD. So I put at Ring in Malaysia first. Oh, you need to put in the check number. Okay. Put in the check number. So you can see that the system will automatically calculate the exchange gain and loss for you and will debit or credit into the appropriate account. You do not need to worry about the exchange gain and loss. So this is for, for currency. The next one will be maintain terms. Sorry, go to customer. You can see that the customer easier for you you can see that we always can give different credit terms to customer 30 days 60 days and so on so how about if i want to create a new terms 120 days what i need to do is just click at the three dot button it will bring you to the creation screen or we can go to tools maintain terms will go to the same place so 
I just click add new I create a new one called 120 days 120 I save so I have a new terms 120 which I can select in SQL accounting software there are three types of credit terms you can create first one is called due in number of days it calculate by date based on your invoice date the second one will be on a specific day of the month for example 1 17 so what will happen is if you set like this it will be one month after your invoice date on the 17th why we want to do this is because certain company they will issue check once a month so let's say in this scenario will be they will issue the check on 18 so if you put that like due in 17 so they need to prepare the payment for you on the 18 but this be, need to base on the mutual understanding between you and your customer normally we are still using the number of days the third one is called due in month end if you do this think that example irregardless whether you uh, create the invoice on 3rd of august or 19th of august it will calculate your the terms will be three months at the month end so september october november meaning that the invoice will be due on the last day in november so basically this is how to maintain currency and also credit terms for customer and buyer in sql accounting software you can always contact me with this information. Thank you.